another top 10 for 2022. Um, I dropped one earlier for the best NFL cars that I personally ripped for 2022. And I did have a couple of close friends say, you know, why don't you drop one for your baseball cars? You did a little bit better <laughs> than you did for football. So I decided what the heck, let's go ahead and get into it and share some of my favorites that I pulled personally for 2022. Now, again, these are all personal rips, nothing that I'm bought off of eBay, and of course, it does not contain anything I may have sold um, because I no longer have it. However, right into it, coming at number 10 is this Vlad Guerrero Jr. This came from Chronicles, and this is the Phoenix insert, and it's numbered out of 75. I think this is, let me look at it, yeah, 2020. Got this out of a blaster box. Um, again, I, I'm a big flag collector. I like the design. And again, anything numbered under uh, 100 and under, um, I really, you know, take heed of that a lot. So this one right here, I was excited when I pulled it, especially out of a blaster. I really don't think anything else was that caught my attention out of the box. Um, but this is starting us off here at number 10. Number nine, this came from a box that I actually bought um, from my son's travel baseball game. There was a booth set up and he had some old junk wax. And this, he also had a box of 1992 Stadium Club where this comes out of. And this is Nolan Ryan Member's Choice. Um, huge Nolan Ryan fan. Um, more for sentimental purposes. I remember sitting with my grandfather watching them play when Robert Ventura made the probably one of the worst decisions of his life to charge the mound and take on Nolan Ryan and caught the butt whooping of his life on national TV. It was fantastic. And I just remember me and my granddad looking at each other just like, what is going on? And just laughing uncontrollably while watching Nolan Ryan put the hammer on Robert Ventura. So, of course, for sentimental reasons, this ranks up there. Um, clean card, big fan of Stadium Club. And that's number nine. Coming in at number eight, we have 87 Donruss, Bo Jackson, rated rookie. Um... Bo Jackson, Charles Barkley, Frank Thomas. Those are the only three people that come out of Auburn that I'll ever give any respect to. Of course, they have a lot of ballers. I'm not going to hate, but those three are the ones that I can only recognize. <laughs> um, but anybody who knows Bo knows that that guy was a man well before for his time. It's like he can do it all. And pulling this um, from a box that I also got from my son's travel um, baseball game. Bought a box of these as well. Um, actually pulled two of them. One is actually better centered than this one, but I got it sent off for grading, so I'll just use this one to represent it. Bo Jackson, baby, coming in at number eight. Number seven. Um, one of my favorite um, sets that you can probably tell by looking at the background. That design coming from 2020 Tops. This is from 2020 Tops Update and it's Bo Pachette SP. Um, I got a few SPs that I pulled because I had a ton of these. I mean, really because these are some of the only cards I could actually find in the wild in 2020. Um, I still have a few blasters and hangers um, stored up. Um, I remember pulling like a McCutcheon and a Giancarlo Stanton um, SP, but this one, when I pulled it, I was genuinely excited because um, I am a Boba Shet collector as well. So I'll be shipping this one off to get graded also. Um, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Boba Shet update SP number seven. Number six 
is my personal favorite baseball player of all time. And I was able to scoop up his rated rookie out of a pack. And this is Ken Griffey Jr. rated rookie. Um, you can see at the top left corner, there's some little, you know, corner damage to it, how it came out the pack. Um, and it's definitely not centered. But what makes me so excited is, and I actually have about four of these, but every time I pull it, I recall um, being on the school bus and ripping a pack open and pulling it in front of all my friends for the first time. And everybody went nuts on the on the school bus. So every time I pull one of these, I just kind of have a flashback. Um, that's Ken Griffey Jr., man. Look at that. Yeah. It's a monster. For number five, going back to that 87 Don Russ box, we have Greg Maddox rated rookie that I was able to pull out of um, that same box that I got the Bo Jackson in. Um, the center is horribly off, but those corners are crispy, baby. Um, before I turn, look at that face. Look at that. <laughs> As a Braves fan, Greg Maddox holds a special place for me, even though he was a, a cubby first. Um, this dude could deal. He was like, he painted corners. He, he found a spot. He could hit it. And he was a beast on the mound. Um, so pulling this definitely got excited. Um, again, it's, it's old school. It's a throwback card. Going back to 87. It's no, you know, special numbers or hollows or prisms. Just a good old Red Maddox rated rookie. And that's my number five card. Number four is going to be a little difficult. Um, because I have two cards, and I'm not sure. I couldn't choose between either of them. And the wild thing is I pulled them both literally at the same time out of two different packs that I bought from my LCS. Both are 2019 tops. One is the holiday edition of Shohei Pitching, and the other is him batting both rookie cups and I can't I can't pick um, so I just put them both here at number four um, let me know which ones you like the most the batting the the hitting maybe you like the holiday design maybe you don't like the holiday design you're more traditional um, but it's both of them um, yeah I'm st I still can't decide even looking at them both right now I can't choose so I'm just gonna put them both up as my number four card for 2022. Shohei Otani, 2019 Holiday and 2019 Series 1. Going into my top three. Um, this, I'm not even sure if this counts as a rip because this came as part of a set. Um, and this is Bo Jackson 86 Traded. Um, definitely not the Tiffany version. To be honest, I don't even know where to find a Tiffany version unless I'm getting it from, from eBay or something. But it's Bo Jackson. If it's Bo, I'm all for it. Um, anytime I see a stat line that says no record, <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, the border on the back, not necessarily centered that greatly, but on the front, you know, it's a little bit better. Um, this is one that I made graded or slab just to preserve it um, because I like it. Um, but again, it's a classic border. We're talking 86 tops. Some of these just stand out. You can't, you look at them, you automatically know where it's from. This, the 87 wood grain, you know, the 84 with the team on the side. It's just classic tops. Anyway, Bo Jackson traded, coming in number three. Number two, um, got it the same box that I got the Nolan Ryan that came in earlier, and this is King Griffey Jr. Members Choice from 1992 um, Stadium Club. Um, I've always been a big fan of Stadium Club just because of the photo selection that they have. Um, 
back in 92, you know, he had the, the glossy print. Um, so that always stood out from some of the others. But this photo is just a, it's just iconic to me, to me. Um, big fan of King Griffin Jr. as I said before. He's my favorite of all time. So of course when I pulled it, I was very excited. And coming in at number one, I actually pulled this on one of my videos I just posted recently. Um, subject is, are hangers really bangers? And yes, if anybody told you that they aren't, they're lying to you because they want to get your hangers or they don't want you to buy them and leave them on the, on the shelf so they can buy them. I bought, I can't tell you how many blasters before and came out with some okay cards, weren't bad. But as soon as I ripped into two hangers, I pulled some, some cards that just destroyed everything that I received or pulled out of the blasters. And this is one of them. Um, this is the Julio Rodriguez Tops Black Gold with the black border. And it's numbered out of 299. Yeah. Um, I didn't receive any parallels or any sort of serial numbers out of the blasters. Like, not one. Um, actually, let me take that back. I think I got a couple that were gold numbered to 2022. Maybe a couple of those. So when I pulled this, I was... I couldn't believe I found this in a black, in a, excuse me, I couldn't believe I found this in a hanger. Um, nevertheless, awesome card, excited that I got it. Um, I can't say I like him boarding Griffey Jr., but watching him kind of reminds me just from the excitement he's bringing to that team. Um, the Mariners are fun to watch, and he's one of the reasons why. Um, anyway. Pulling this card out of the hangar was probably one of the most excited moments I had while just pulling some cards this year. And from a baseball standpoint, this is my number one card that I pulled in 2022. Leo Rodriguez, um, Tops Update Hanger, <laughs> Tops Black Gold, Black Board out of 299. So that wraps it up for the baseball edition. Again, in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know some of the awesome cards you may have pulled. Also, you know, if you got a channel of your own, drop the name of it or, or let me know in the comments so I could check it out and subscribe if I haven't already. Um, always about spreading love through the hobby and the community. I love seeing people pull awesome stuff. I even love learning about things I didn't even know about um, to make myself a better um, person here in, in this hobby. So, now I can officially shut the door on 2022 <laughs> and hope that I continue to pull some good stuff and actually some better stuff in 2023. Walker the Collector, we out.